Kara categorized her spending this month into four categories, rent, food, fun, and other. The amounts she spent in each category are pictured here in our pie chart. What percent of her total spending did she spend on fun? Answer to the nearest whole percent. So notice how we can tell from the pie chart she spent $250 this month on fun, but in order to find the total spent, we need to find the sum of these four amounts. Let's begin by doing this. The total spent will be equal to 333 plus 417 plus 500 plus 250, which equals 1,500. Now that we know that she spent a total of $1,500 this month, to determine what percent she spent on fun, we want to answer the question, 250 is what percent of 1,500? Now there are several ways to solve this problem, but notice how the fraction she spent on fun would be 250 out of 1,500. So this is the fraction she spent on fun, so we can now convert this fraction into a decimal and then to a percent to answer this question. Well notice how this fraction does simplify. It's not required to simplify this to convert to a decimal and then a percent, but let's go ahead and show how to simplify this. Notice how both of these have a common factor of 250. So if we simplify out the common factor of 250, we would have 250 divided by 250 is 1, 1,500 divided by 250 is equal to 6. So she spent one sixth of her money on fun, and now let's convert this fraction to a decimal and then a percent. To convert to a decimal, we divide, so here we'd have 1 divided by 6. So 1 divided by 6 is approximately 0.167, or if we want 0.167, then to convert a decimal to a percent, we multiply by 100, or move the decimal point to the right two places, and add a percent sign. So this would be approximately 16.7 percent, but notice how we are asked to round to the nearest whole percent, so this would round to 17 percent. So she spent approximately 17 percent of her money on fun this month. Now let's also show how to set this up using a percent equation and a percent proportion. Using a percent equation, the first thing we see is 250, so we have 250, the word is means equals, so 250 equals, next we have what or what percent, this represents the unknown, so we'll use a variable, let's use p for percent, of means multiplication, so times, and then we have 1,500, so to solve for p here we would divide both sides by 1,500, Simplifying, we have p is going to be equal to this quotient, which is the same quotient we had for our fraction in our first method. So this would simplify to one-sixth, but also notice that 250 divided by 1,500 still gives us approximately 0 0.167. Converting to a percent, we would have 16.7% which is the same result, rounding to 17 percent. And finally, as a percent proportion, we know we'd have two rates or ratios equal to each other. Here we're trying to find the percent, which is the number compared to 100. So let's have one ratio be P to 100. This ratio here would be the part to the whole, with the amount of money spent on fun, which is 250, to the total spent of 1,500. And now we cross multiply and solve for p. 1,500 times p must equal 250 times 100. So 1,500 p equals 250 times 100 is 25,000. Dividing by 1,500. Simplifying, we have p is equal to this quotient, which we'll have to round. So 25,000 divided by 1,500 gives us approximately 16.7, which notice how is a number compared to 100, so we know it's going to be approximately 16.7 percent, which ran to the nearest whole percent, again gives us 17 percent. 
So of course you wouldn't solve this three different ways. You want to select the method that makes the most sense to you and probably stick with that one method. I hope you found this helpful.